Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, welcome to the Helm Anthology and Host Parasite Relationship subject. Today we are going to start with the topic introduction to Helmans. Uh, so dear student, let's start the topic. In this lecture, we will cover the following major subtopics. First of all, we will study the general characteristics of the Helmans that will be followed by the morphology of the Helmans and at the end of the lecture, we will talk about the life cycle of the Helmans. So first, uh, the general characteristics of the, uh, of the Helmans. Uh, students' Helmans are elongated, flat or round worm. They are eukaryotic, multicellular and bilaterally symmetrical. Uh, Helmans belong to the two phyla. Number one, Phylum platy helmans that are also called flate worms. Number second, phylum nemato helmans. Helmans are subdivided into three major classes. Class Cystodia that are also called tapeworm. Class Trematoda also called flukes or Diogenes, class monogenia that include ectoparasites of the fishes and usually they do not infect human beings. So phylum uh, nematode helmans, the morphology of the helmans. Helmans exist in three major morphological forms number one is adult form are also called the worm number second is the larval form number third is the egg form adult form of the phylum platy helmets your general characteristics their shape is tape like and cestode or leaf like and trematodes, they have a definitive head and also called as sucker. They lack proper body cavity. Elementary canal, elementary canal is absent in cestode but incomplete in trematodes. They are onesis or hermaphrodite. That means both the sexes are present in the same worm except in schistosoma, which are not hermaphrodite. Now let's talk about the morphology of the helmets. Helmets exist in three um, important morphological form that we discussed previously. So uh, coming to the phylum. Nematoda. Their general characteristics of the phylum Nematoda are they are evolutionarily more developed than platy helmets. They possess a definite body cavity, space between body wall and elementary canal. Elementary canal is completed, that is, starting from the mouth and it leads to the esophagus intestine and ending at anus. They are dioecious that both male and female worms they are separate. Their nervous system and excretory system are rudimentary and there is no circulatory system present in phylum nematoda. The next morphological form is the larval form. There are various larval form of the helmets found in men and in other hosts. In cestode, following uh, morphological form, they are present that are cysticercus, hydated cyst, conarius, cysticercide. 
coracidium, prosarcoid, and pleurosarcoid forms exist in cystodes. The larval form of the trematodes they are cercaria, metacercaria, radia, myricidium, and sporocyst. Larval form of the nematodes include ribetiform larva, filariform larva, and microfilaria. Now talks about the other important morphological form of the helaments, that is egg form. Based on their reproduction, helaments can be classified into the following major forms oviviparous viviparous and ovoviviparous oviparous most of the helaments cystodes trematodes and many nematodes are oviparous that means after fertilization the other worm lay its eggs the next one is the viviparous only few nematodes directly discharge the larval form after fertilizations. Example include filarial worms, rhynchonoculus, and trichinella. The last one is the ovoviviparous. They lay egg containing larva that immediately batches out. Uh, example includes strangolites. Various helaments have distinct morphology of the eggs, which can be used to differentiate the helaments. Uh, now let's talk about the life cycle of the helaments. Life cycle of the helaments gets completed in one or more hosts. In case of cestodes, they complete their life cycle in two hosts. One is definite host and the other one is the intermediate host, except Hymenolepis that required only one host and Diplobotherium that required three hosts. One definite host that include males, that include men, and two intermediate hosts. Uh, the first one is Cyclop. And the second one is fish. Life cycle in case of the trematode, the most of the time require three hosts. One definite host, that is most of the time main, and the two intermediate hosts. First one is the snail, and second aquatic plant are fish. Uh, but there is exception in case of sister shorms that need two hosts the definite host is man and intermediate host is snail in case of nematode they complete their life cycle in one host that is man except filarial worm that need two host one is definite host that is man an intermediate host that is mosquito and rhinoculus that need two hosts definitely host is man intermediate host is cyclops so the uh, that is the end of the first like online lecture thank you very much and if you have any questions or query please submit it to the cust kcms and then we will respond to you thank you very much and bye see you next time